So the other day, I'm at the grocery store, okay? I'm just trying to pick up some groceries, go home, survive, right? But I'm at the grocery store, and I'm about to pick up some eggs when a random guy walks up to me and says, Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? How about you, uh, fucking kill yourself? And man, I usually don't admit this, but man, that really got to me, dude. I just sat there with my fucking eggs, and I was thinking to myself, like, what does this world come to? I'm just getting my fucking eggs, and someone's coming up to me saying, kill yourself. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Where, where's the humanity? So I got in my car, I went back home, and I just, I just sat there, dude. I just sat there in pure, utter defeat. But just about when I was ready to give up, I checked Twitter, and I see a ton of tweets of a ton of different people linking me to the one same video. And that video is, of course, Fat People 2 by Nicole Arbor. Now, I haven't seen this video yet, but I can only assume, since it's by Nicole Arbor, that this video is going to be filled with some of the best positive vibes we're ever going to see. So, for the sake of the positive vibes, we're going to be watching this video together. So, everybody, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab some motherfucking positive vibes, and let's play this shit. <laughs> Play, play, play that shit. Trigger warning, trigger warning. If you're under 18 and a whiny little bitch, you're not gonna like this video. Fuck guys, I'm only 12. Uh, well, <sighs> looks like I can't watch the video. Well, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, leave a like. Uh, I'll see you later. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me, man. Dear fat people too. the second helping. I had to bring it back because the world is going crazy. I had to bring it back because the world is going crazy. This is the part where everyone comments, Oh, she's just doing it to stay relevant. <laughs> Fucking view whore, fuck you! A chick with a dick when woman of the year. Barbie had to look like she eats cheeseburgers to make feminists happy. Mike Tyson is a vegan. There's a plus size model in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. And okay, so let me get this straight. The reason why you had to make this video was because there's a plus size model in the swimsuit edition. Wow, dude, she must be really fucking hideous. Dude, she must be like fucking disgusting. I mean without a doubt Nicole Arbor must look a hundred times better than this this fucking fat piece of shit, right? But I mean just for shits and giggles. Let's just look up what she looks like I mean, of course again Nicole is gonna look a hundred times better I mean this person is literally the reason why she has to make dear fat people too. I mean she just has to be disgusting hideous Gross. Are you fucking serious, Nicole? Do you know what you look like? This bitch is thick as fuck, and you look like a witch! You look like if you remove the pounds of makeup that you have, your skin would be cracking! Nicole, a lot of people make jokes like, oh, you look like you're 35 years old. I disagree. I think you look over 100. You look like the fucking witch from The Wizard of Oz, dude! You look like a walking dead zombie! This has to be a fucking joke. It just, it, it cannot be real, dude. I know she's trying to do this for attention, I get that. And I get that a lot of this video is satire, like this video is right now, but I just, I just don't get it, dude. How can she sit up there so confidently and just be like, I gotta make dear fat people too because this fat bitch up here, when she looks like the fucking wicked witch of the north. It was the fat lady eating Gilbert Grape. Last time we went here, people lost their fucking shit. Y'all were just mad I told the truth. Truth, truth. Everybody with a microphone turn- Okay, what the fuck is this music? Seriously, dude. Like, everything Nicole's ever said, she's been roasted for. How she looks like, she's been roasted for. But no one's ever brought up the fact that she uses fucking army <laughs> music for her videos. Like, seriously, what the fuck is this music? Like, I feel like that music alone could give me a stroke. <laughs> this music, dude, seriously, just pay attention to the music. See how you bitches spun that shit? Because I never talked about beauty. I talked about caloric intake. I, la, la, la. I don't hate anybody. Except for vegans. Yeah, I'm suddenly in another outfit. And strange men who close talk and talk. <laughs> What is this video? Look, Nicole, I consider myself a spaz. I literally consider myself a complete fucking spaz. But, like, watching your video, dude, it's giving me some PTSD, dude. It's like a real nightmare. You're all over the place. Every fucking angle just jump cuts over and over again. One second you're black and white. Next second you're yelling about vegans or some shit. Like, holy shit, dude. Tone it down a notch. And that's coming for me, man. I don't know you. After I taped this video, a whole bunch of stuff came out in the press. To say. And bad hairdressers who give you chunky highlights. Is it 2002? Do I look Italian to you? What the fuck are you doing? Bad hairdressers giving me too many highlights. Do I look Italian? Uh what does that even fucking mean? Is that like a joke? Like, I, I don't get it, dude. I really don't get it. Is that like a fucking hilarious stereotype joke? Like, oh, Italians get a lot of highlights. What do I, what do I look a uh, fucking Italian to you? Ha <laughs> ha Like, what? Italian to you? What the fuck are you doing? Some guys like fit, some guys like curvy. Who the fuck cares? Some guys like skinny girls, some guys like curvy girls. Who the fuck cares? Oh, I don't know. That's a really tough question. Really tough question, man. Uh, hmm. Ah, jeez, dude. 
really wonder, uh... Oh wait, I know. A chick with a dick when woman of the year. Barbie had to look like she eats cheeseburgers to make feminists happy. Mike Tyson is a vegan. There's a plus size model in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. And Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, she, 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 she was talking about, uh, curvy girls, not, not fat girls. Uh, c c completely different things. But when I saw today that the Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition is featuring a plus size model, I was like, duh! Look, I don't want to be the guy that's like, Oh, you're not funny! You're not funny! You're not funny! Because I feel like that shit's annoying, okay? But it's... It, you're not funny, dude! But Sports Illustrated swimsuit models are the mecca of physical perfection when it comes to modeling. Look at you! She's representing real women and natural curves and a natural body, but she's photoshopped to fuck in all her photos. Okay, so one of the plus size models is photoshopped. Is that like wrong or something? Isn't all the models photoshopped? I mean, I don't like follow the modeling world. I don't really get the point. Like, why don't you just watch porn? But isn't all the models like photoshopped? Wasn't there like a big deal about this? All the people were like, oh, fucking uh, false image of women. What the fuck? I don't know, man. I don't follow the modeling stuff. Like, I get it why it's there to like advertise products and whatnot, but I just, I mean, I'm not gonna fucking follow that. Fuck that. I feel like someone's gonna be offended at that. Oh, modeling is an art. Modeling is an art. Five people go into the room. Whoever composed the best has the biggest tits or whatever the fuck they're trying to advertise. Wins it all. Just like that. Uh, all right, buddy. Jesus. The truth is, if she worked out a little bit more, she wouldn't be plus size anymore. Look, I'm not gonna have an aneurysm about this like a lot of the people on the internet. Like, <gasps> it's harder than that. <laughs> Don't make fun of fat people. But at the same time, I think there's a little bit more to losing weight than just, Oh yeah, go to the gym and you won't be a fat fuck. Like, nah, I think there's a little bit more. Just a little bit. But, 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 but you made fun of the guy that ate fast food in his car for the past year. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck, Leafy, huh? Okay, there's a huge difference between making fun of someone's diet that literally consists of fast food every single day, eating that shit in his car, and someone saying, Oh yeah, if you just go to the gym, you won't be overweight. You won't have any struggles. It's like, dude. There's a lot more to that than that. Shut the fuck up. You don't know my struggle. Every single time I go to Dairy Queen, I just want to stuff my face with ice cream sandwiches, but I can't. At the end of the day, all the ladies featured are gorgeous. Yo, what the fuck is she doing with her hands? Is she a fucking gypsy? At the end of the day, all the ladies featured are gorgeous. I just am very concerned that PC is taking over. It's okay to have standards. I hope they all made lots of money, and I hope that young girls don't start eating junk food to look like the one. She's yeah, dude, that's totally gonna happen. Some little girl is gonna see a sports magazine with a girl that's a little bit thick and think to herself, I better start eating some potato chips so I can get thick as fuck, boy. And then she's gonna get obese, and then her kids are gonna get obese, and then Obama's gonna get obese, and then I'm gonna get obese, and then we're just gonna be shit, and the world's gonna get obese, and then we'll fucking die. That's exactly what's gonna happen, dude. The prophecy has been told. She's representing her bank account. We'd rather die on our feet than live on our knees. We gotta keep having opinions, whore. Thanks for watching, I'm Nicole Oliver, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Well, holy shit, guys. In conclusion today, if you're a little bit chubby, just go to the gym. No big deal. I mean, it's as simple as that, dude. And if you're this person, fuck you. We all know that Nicole Arbert's prophecy is true. If you uh, get in one more magazine, dude, you're, you're going to cause the end of the world, dude. Everyone's going to start eating potato chips, and then everyone's going to get obese, and then the world's going to get hit by an asteroid. I mean, this is 100% true, dude. I mean, Nicole Arbert said said so herself, and I've never seen someone with such powerful positive vibes. I mean, Nicole Arbor, the positive vibes run deep with her. So overall, guys, the end times are coming near. Get ready for obesity, getting hit by an asteroid, and of course, the rise of the positive vibes. And most importantly, guys, just be sure to be safe. Sleep tight, guys. The truth is, if she worked out a little bit more, she wouldn't be plus size anymore. Like, the fuck? The fuck? The fuck? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and dude if you did it's your lucky day because for every single person that hits the like button on this video they will be receiving the fucking ability to fly. Uh not not a scam at all. As soon as you like the video dude, I will literally turn it on for you. I'll just have to, you know, type some stuff up and uh 10 seconds max you will be uh flying around like fucking Superman. Not not not, not a scam at all, dude. You will get the ability to fly. 100% if you like the video on a serious note though guys. Thank you so much for all the support you guys are just fucking amazing 
And um, thank you so much again, and thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day, and peace out. It's just me and my niggas, liquor and a couple bad girls, living in this fucking mad world, with no fear for the tears, it's a fear nigga. This is the part where everyone comments, oh, she's just doing it to stay relevant. <laughs> fucking view whore, fuck you! It's here they revere when I'm coming back, oh, uh, sweatshirt, yes sir, this is life and it gets worse, but you always come back from the depths, Karen, and if somebody wanna hold me back, I'ma eat him like Lexer. Let's work, cause I'm coming with the fear of God Not trying to be something that is clear I'm not I'm just trying to get the whole world with their hands up Like I'm summoning a spirit bomb And it feels so good, nigga